Hey guys, Jess from Knockout Print Shop, and today I have a short, hopefully short video for you on a flip through of my planner spreads for August 2020 to kind of show you how I use a planner. I did change some things up this month on my monthly and once or twice in my weekly, so I'll go over that. But all in all, I feel like I'm in a pretty good groove with my Moxie Life Horizontal. There are times though I do miss my Inkwell Press, but I'll talk about that later or in another video. Okay, and I have my coffee. It is Thursday. And today is film all the videos day. Okay, so monthly compared to last month, last month I was going through and using my monthly to do some video content planning, but then mostly to write down all meetings for the remote work that I do. This was like kind of an after the fact thing and it didn't necessarily help me. So I did not repeat that for this month. For this month, the only thing I put was um, use our month labels to put down my two coaching clients appointments, um, noted when our new releases were coming out and then did use our mini video icon to know what um, video content was for that day and then just highlighted it with a coordinating color for the um, whatever color I use. And then I did use the purple, which is the, the color for the August in Moxie. And I did went, I did go and put the little date covers on top of the dates just to add a little bit more pop of color. As you know, if you have the Moxie, the date's pretty small and faint. And I was like, well, I never use those. I'm going to try using that. So I did use those and I do kind of like it. It does make the date pop a little more. And then of course, use my little contact icon to remind myself to change my icon. So to change my contacts. So pretty simple. I really have been just using this very loosely for some little bit of content planning and keeping track of a few coaching clients. I have their appointments and our new releases. That's it. But as you know, I don't use my monthly a lot. So we'll skip over the goals part and go right into the first week's spread. So this is the first week of August carried over that purple theme because it is the color for um, August in the moxie. So I alternated the purple and the light gray. Light gray is actually not a technically a color from Moxie, but we do add it into this header um, sticker sheet because there's enough room to add another color and who doesn't like having some kind of grayscale in there? So I alternated those two colors and used the appointments header, highlight header, and the to-do highlight header. So I did like how that worked. I didn't like that I used just um, pen and mild liner to make my divider line. That looks kind of weird. Um, so I wasn't a huge fan of that. And then I took the little house icon to make the right side as usual, my kind of home chore thing. And instead of left justifying it, I put it in the center and used our check boxes to note those things. Just did an outline check box with my stencil here for the to do's. And of course my mini zoom stickers for my appointments. And then I used the mini flags to note how many hours I worked each day for my remote work. So that worked pretty good over here on the right. As you know, I don't usually have as much going on on the weekend, so that's kind of random. Did use a, a half-striped circle, which I haven't used in a while, and um, layered that with the date night. I actually like that. I need to be. I need to do more of that. I just haven't been as creative lately with my planner. Not that that's that creative, but I do like adding a little bit more fun elements to certain things and then used our little grocery shopping bag for a reminder to pick up our raw milk and go to the farmer's market. And then plant care day actually happened the next day. So I just drew arrows. Sunday was just kind of like a to-do list um, check boxes. And then I have my highlights here of my daily highlights. I didn't even put a header there. Usually I cover that notes up. I didn't do that in this particular week. And then I started to use our mini dots to fill in my habit tracker. I actually randomly started doing this because I was kind of sick. This is so silly and stupid, but I was kind of sick of just having little check marks. I felt like it looked cluttered and it wasn't really helping me see my consistency. And I had missed like with the inkwell having the hexagons and the colors. It just feels like looks cleaner and just helped me kind of see my progress better. So while these are not like habits I'm building, they're more automated daily tasks. I still do like how this looks and I color coded it based on the area that each of these tasks are. In. So I do like that and that continued for the rest of the month. So we'll flip over to the next week. So here's week two and I tried something totally different. I do like having the kind of rainbow color palette here using the various colors from the Moxie Life palette. I used to, as you know, never like to use more than one or two colors on a spread, but I do like how these colors go together and it's nice to kind of make them, you know, add more color to your planner. So this one, I shifted things a little bit. So in the middle, so I use my, my dividers here and I use my to-do header, use the check boxes. So that was all the same. And this was all, but what I did was this was all to-dos. It could be home or work. 
So I tried that because I wanted to use our little prayer gratitude hands here in the right to kind of have like a gratitude thought or a word of the day. So I was like in the morning sitting there for a second, kind of thinking of a gratitude and put that in there. Um, Cause I keep trying to figure out a way to have like a one minute in the morning kind of focusing mindfulness practice. This worked okay, but I just don't think this is the right space to do this. I like obviously having one planner and everything lives in it, but I just really didn't find this helpful. And I started to run out of space with my to do's by combining them in the middle. Um, I did use a few little icons to bring attention to some home chores here on a few days. I did use our work, um, box with the highlight to note the hours. I like how that is. I like that bringing the attention to how many hours I worked that day. Of course, my mini zoom icons for my meetings. Um, and then I do like the, the cohesiveness of continuing the pattern of the layout on Saturday and Sunday, even if it's much more blank. So I did do that. Um, use my contact guide to remind me to change the context here. You can see I used a header and wrote highlights on it for my highlights. And then here I amped it up a little bit more in the, in the habit tracker by using one of our flags. This is a little longer than the actual section here. So I had to just bump it over a little bit, which I think looks fine. Um, and then use the color of the flag that goes with the category, blah, 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 the dots, all that good stuff. So that's what I did there. Um, then of course made my little drop shadow, which I'm getting better at drawing in the lines, you guys. Um, and that is how that works. So sometimes you'll see stuff that's blank. Like I didn't have red check boxes here. Honestly, it's cause I just ran out of them. No, I know we print these and I have unlimited access to them, but sometimes I just am sitting in my office, not in our Matt's office where we do the printing and I don't feel like going to get more stickers. So I just do that. Um, I don't worry about stickers sometimes use my little plant one. Okay. So that's that, that was week two worked. Okay. I like it aesthetically, but I was not a big fan of this. I think if you are someone that's focusing on gratitude or Bible study or mindfulness or something like that, this kind of layout can work really well to give this. If you're, if you're finding like, what do I use this space for? This is a nice thing to use a space for. Um, maybe again, gratitude, something like that, a daily highlight, whatever. So I think if you don't have a lot of to do's going on and you want to maximize what you're using the space for something like that is nice to use in that space. It just didn't work for me. Okay. Week number three. Okay. So we have another kind of rainbow week, but you can see again, I did not go with that for Saturday and Sunday. So it kind of looks imbalanced. So sometimes even though I don't want to waste stickers on days, I don't need them. I do prefer the way it looks when it's all the same, you know? So I don't know if I did that this week. I can't remember, but anyways, so we, I went back to this time. What I did was a shift. So again, blah, 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 talk just this I didn't like. So I, I moved on from having the right side, not be kind of more functional. So what I did here was I did in the middle was work to do. So same header that I usually use, same divider strips. I moved the appointments to the right. So I used our appointments header and drew a box with the drop shadow here, and then used my same like mini zoom guys with the little mini asterisks. We have that's a newer sticker to note the hours. And then I used the right or sorry, the left hand side for my home stuff. And I put the mini house over that little heart. Um, and then drew the box and highlighted all the way around it and just stenciled my check boxes. This worked okay. I didn't mind this. Um, gave me a lot of space to write home to do's versus having it over here. But I felt like for me, the downfall of having it this way was my meetings are kind of the first thing that happens in the day. So having it over to the right, um, kind of felt weird. Now I used to put them over the right a long time ago when I didn't have as many meetings and I use this space more like this, but now since I have more meetings and they again are kind of more the start of my day, my brain makes, it makes more sense for me to have those on the left. Like the first thing I see on each day in my spread, if that makes sense. But I do like how this looks. Um, and again, you can see the boringness that is the weekend. So I may continue, I may go back to continuing the style of the spread on these two days, even if it doesn't get fully used. Um, down here did my highlights. And then here I didn't have all of my flags and the colors I needed. So I just took my mild liners, um, color coded it that way. And then again, use the little dots. I ran out of the pastel ones, So that's why there's a few of the darker colors. There's no reason for that other than I ran out of stickers. Did use the date night sticker here. A few of our mini icons to note chores. I don't love when I stack mini icons like this, how this looks, but I do like the attention it brings to the task. So I think if I use these again on a Saturday or Sunday, when we do a lot of chores, I may change this up, layer it with a box, 
give them more space between each task task because clearly I have enough space so that would be something I would change um, and are we on this is the last week so this is the last week this is this week so just a tiny bit different than a few of the other ones and I jacked these stickers up good because I took them off and on and readjusted a bunch of times. So if you take our stickers, which are repositionable off and on a bunch of times, and especially when you're like digging at the corners to get them up, they will stick, but stickers that are repositionable do not always stick forever. So you could see this kind of looks a little janky. But anyways, what I did was I have my little dividers and then I wanted to use the appointment header and the to-do header. And because of this space, these guys need to basically touch so that's why I kept having to reposition things. So I decided that after the fact, because usually I don't necessarily, let's see, let's go back. So here, I don't know how I gave myself more space there, but now they're touching on it. I don't know, guys. I don't know what the heck I did. Anyways, so this is just a little different spin on it by keeping them together and having these three stickers touch. I don't know. I probably did not need to do that. I don't know what, I could, probably couldn't line stuff up the day I was doing this. So we have appointments on this side, so back to that, that makes more sense. I'm um, using the little mini asterisk on our bullet journal sampler to note the hours. I think with this one, this is not sticking out as much to me, so I probably will like take my mild liner and highlight that just to make that differentiate from the appointments. Um, have the to-dos, which are work-related here in the middle, and then went back to left justifying the little house icon for the house stuff. I probably will go back after the fact just for fun and highlight, drop shadow these. And I didn't even use a check um, mark or stencil on this and just kind of like as they went, um, as they've gotten done, just old school, market them off. Probably because I made this too narrow and wrote this after, before and I couldn't fit something there. So we just went the old school way. So here I brought this same style into Saturday and then Sunday this is just sitting here. This looks totally weird um, but I think I ran out of both of these in red so that's why that happened. So you can see that sometimes like I used to be such a perfectionist with my planner and now I just don't care. Sometimes I just need to get stuff done and it's fine and I don't get super bent out of shape about things not looking perfect. This looks really weird. I probably will move this and do something here. Um, so yeah there's that. This just made me th have a thought. I feel like we need a long one of these that says weekend. I think that would be cool. I need to make a note about that. Um, obviously I have my highlights and then here again, <laughs> ran out of dots by run out means I don't want to go into Matt's office and get them and highlight it and then just use my mild liners to mark off as it goes. So that's where we are right now. Today is Thursday. So that is my spreads for August. You can see things kind of changed and evolved a little bit from what I usually do, just playing around with a few things. This may be one of my favorite ones, minus the fact that I think the appointments work better on the left. I do like this one if this would have been home stuff. And then I like this layout a lot. I just wasn't in love with the purple and light gray once I laid it out. I'm really enjoying more having more color. I haven't done a two-tone in a while or a monochrome in a while. So this looks a little too drab for me, but I don't know. I need to maybe play around with colors because it looks like after I did that, I just kept doing rainbow stuff. So we'll see. So that is where I was at for August. Hope you guys find that helpful. If it gives you some ideas on what to use, how to use your horizontal, whether it's a Moxie or another brand. And if you guys have any questions, let me know and I will see you in the next video.